Hey, let's go guys. Welcome back to another Everton career mode. We are on episode 6. We are playing very well. We're doing very well. And we are making this Everton team very, very strong. And hopefully we can continue today on this episode. As you can see, we are currently sat 6th in the Premier League. We are currently, I think, 5 points away from the Champions League spot. Um, like I say, it's not something that we should have been aiming for. It is more mid-table side that we wanted to go for, but we are playing a very, very good football right now. And, I mean, there's probably a few tweaks here and there that we could change and probably make better, but we will do that as we move and go out throughout the season. And obviously we are coming to the end of December, so, you know, it's more one of them that when uh, transfer window hits, maybe we look at some signings, see what we can do, see what we can bring in, see what we can get rid of. So today we have Arsenal away over at the Emirates Stadium. It's going to be a difficult game. Then we have Brighton at home at Goodison Park, so we should be good for that one. And then following on from that game, we have Manchester United away at Old Trafford, which is also going to be a very a difficult game. So we have two difficult games. Brighton, you know, is going to be a difficult game, but I reckon we could get the win on that one very easily. So moving on to the formation. So we were playing a 4-3-2-1, I think we were playing, I think that's what we went from, um, but we've decided to change to a 3-5, well it's just 3-4-1-2, um, we have so many midfielders and so many defenders, but it also means that uh, Michael Lenko and uh, the new signing Jed Spence do lose their spot, um, which isn't ideal. You know, we did plan to play a right back and a left back, and we also did bring in a support in right back as well. Um, but maybe we look on to, you know, move them up to left mid, right mid, maybe playing them in the in the centre back role if they're able to. You know, it's something that we've got to have a look at. But I think playing three at the back, five midfielders is going to be suitable for you know the players that we have at our disposal. And unfortunately, you know, Spence and uh, Michael Lenko are just going to have to deal with it and, you know, go from there. Um, but yeah, you can see Spence playing that right mid role and Michael Lenko probably playing that left mid role or playing in a, you know, more of central, central of midfield, but it just depends on how long it takes to train them in that position. So, moving on to the game. Over at the Emirates Stadium, we go for a slightly changed side. We put Onana in, Moretti and Deli Alley all in. And obviously Connor, Connor Cody comes in to fill that third centre-back position. Um, this looks like a very strong squad for us. We will trial out, you know, trial out the formation, see how we get on. But I'm looking forward to this one very, very much. And I think we should be able to get some results. So here comes Saka for Arsenal. Saka finds Moreno. It's a great save by Pickford. What a save. Here we go. Saka into Odegaard. Into Lokongo. Great save again by Pickford. Pickford pulling out saves left, right and centre. Oh, Nana. Into McNeil. Into Mupai. Into Deli Alley. Finds Calvert-Lewin. Can Calvert-Lewin get the goal? Calvert-Lewin. It goes in the top left-hand corner. What a goal that is. The star of the show, Calvert-Lewin, he is absolutely phenomenal in this in this game right now. Um, you know, he's going to be uh, one of our best players. So Anthony Gordon steps up to come and take this corner. Anthony Gordon ball in. No one can get there, Moretti. What can he do with it, Moretti? Plays it back out wide to Gordon. Gordon puts the ball in. Calvert-Lewin again. What a beautiful header and what a ball into the box. What a play by the Everton team right there. Moretti setting it up very nicely. Maybe uh, it's a change that we look to do in the future. But here we are at half, half time. We are 2-0 to the good. Hopefully we don't let it slide going into the second half. We need to keep on that pressure and see what we can do. Here comes Pai into Martinelli. Martinelli to Zinchenko. Zinchenko finds Pai. Into Martinelli, into Moreno, into Odegaard. Odegaard with his tricky feet finds Martinelli. Martinelli, what can he do? He finds Moreno. Martinelli, 
How has that gone in? Pickford, you've made so many good saves this game. And you let that one in. It's a good play by Arsenal again. Moreno into Odegaard. Odegaard! And there's the equaliser for Arsenal. We let off. Not good. Again, Arsenal coming forward. Jesus into Martinelli. Jesus! Moreno again punishing our defending. We changed the three at the back and it's not gone very well for us right now in this first game. It's not looking good. He goes over to celebrate with the manager. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. The Arsenal have come back and shown us how they need to play. Awa into McNeil. McNeil. Can he score? McNeil. And it's in the back of the net. That's what we talk about. 3-3. Three, three. We are showing Arsenal a performance of how we need to play to be in that top six. So because that's where we're sitting right now. Arsenal coming forward. Moreno into Odegaard. Back to Moreno. Moreno. Moreno is absolutely unbelievable for this Arsenal team. What are we meant to do with that? How are we meant to defend that? 4-3 to Arsenal. So here they come again. Martinelli into party. Party into Moreno. Moreno. Moreno yet again punishes our defence. Pickford has just fallen apart in the second half. Can't pull the save out. It's not looking good. But there it ends. 5-3 at full time. Arsenal showed us why they're top of the league right now. And yeah, they, they deserve it. They fully deserve that. So going into the next game, we have Brighton. You know, we should we should win this. It's very simple. We're going to go with uh, Tarkovsky, Mina, Holgate, Gordon, Gay, Howard, Decora, Gray, Sims, Calvert, Lewin, and obviously Pickford in net. So we have gone for a rotated back three, just because of fitness. You know, the games are getting closer together, schedule is getting tight, and we are struggling fitness-wise. Here we go. Ellis Sims into Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin coming forward. It's a beautiful goal. What a finish. Calvert-Lewin are going to be the main man. It's what we're building this Everton side around. And I think we we have a good player if we can keep hold of him. It's a beautiful ball in. Calvert-Lewin, what can he do with it? He's shot on goal. Ellis Sims comes into the squad and he gets his first goal for the, for the side. Makes it 2-0 against this Brighton side. And, you know, like I said, this should be... An easy win for us. You know, the difficult games were going to be Arsenal and Man United. Unfortunately, we lost to Man United, uh, to Arsenal. But we're taking the lead here 2-0 against Brighton. What a challenge that is. Gardner, the guy that is on loan from us, playing for Brighton, has absolutely crunched one of our players. And the determination on this is outrageous. Here we come. Damari Gray into Gordon. Gordon with a shot on goal, and there he is. What a finish. I'm so undecided what to do with this player. You know, a lot of Everton fans don't like him anymore because he's left uh, to go to Everton, and he comes forward again for me here. Ever coming forward, he shoots. Lucky bounce, and he gets the goal again, and he puts his Everton side 4 0 up. What a play. We are cruising in this game. 4 0 before half time is absolutely crazy. Having a little boogie. And there it is at half time, 4 0. Nothing else more that can be said. Uh, we played very well. We you know we stuck to the game plan of heart uh, and then we hopefully can carry on this going into the second half. It's a beautiful ball. Lalana. I I I have no words. I don't know how he scored that. I don't know how Pickford let that in. Brighton again, Pickford with a great save. Damari Gray into Tarkovsky. Passes it to the Brighton player. Brighton, Undave, Trossard. It's a great challenge by Tarkovsky. Damari Gray into Yeri Mina. Yeri Mina just blasts the ball out of play. So, that's it. There wasn't much more to you know cover over that game. It does end 4-1. Good victory for Everton. You know, we get the three points. We put it over the line. And we played fairly well in that game, to be fair. So we now take on Manchester United. We go back to our original side. It just Moretti comes in for Decora, and obviously Sims stays up top with Calvert Lewin. Um, and then obviously Tarkovsky taking that centre spot yet again. So it's Stones, Tarkovsky, and Godfrey at the back. 
uh, Gordon, Gay, Awar, Moretti, McNeil, Sims, Calvert Lewin, and then Pickford in goal. I still haven't figured out our best 11, I'm not going to lie. Um, still a way to go. So here comes Gordon pressing forward, seeing what he can do. It's a shot on goal, and what a save that is by De Gea. And this is why we need to be on our game and be able to put the shots away. So it's Ellie Sims. What can he do with it? Ellie Sims puts it in. It was a great shot. It was a great save by the keeper to not parry that away. Sancho. Osserman into Fernandez. Ericsson. Ericsson, what a turn that is. Holy, if that goes in, that was an unreal turn. Defending needs to be key. What a save that is by Pickford yet again. Pickford showing what we should be doing. Osserman. What? What? How is that a penalty, ref? Ref. Hello? What? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. No way is that a penalty. Fair enough. You know, you can't argue. Fernandez steps up. Pickford goes the right way. It is a great save. We are still at nil-nil in this game. What a save that is by Pickford. Ten Hag not looking happy. Again, Manchester United coming forward. Sancho is Pickford with a great save. Wow, this man is keeping us in this game. Ellis Sims into Moretti. Into Awa. Awa coming forward. Storming forward with the ball. Awa shoots straight at the keeper. It's a great save. Drissa Gay into Gordon. Into Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin finds Moretti. Moretti. What a goal! Let's go! Moretti comes in for Decora. And what an announcement that is to come into the side and score. Puts his team 1-0 up. Playing very well. Uh, we've just got to stop this uh, Man United pressure. Again, a little boogie for the goal. Uh, we come to half-time and we currently sit 1-0. We're not going to make any changes. We're just going to continue going. And playing how we're playing right now, we are doing well. We're 1-0 up. We just need to defend and keep hold of the lead. Osserman. Great ball forward to Ericsson. Ericsson is a great save by Pickford. Pickford claims that easily. <laughs> that was a chance for them. Anthony, find Fernandez. Fernandez into Anthony, into Osserman. Osserman, what a strike that is. What are we meant to do? Pickford not being able to keep us out. I mean, he's tried all game for us and we can't really complain. That's a great challenge. Calvert Lewin into Awa. Awa puts it into the back of the net. There we go. 2 1. 87 minutes left. We've got to have won this by now, surely. There's no way. Rashford. It's a crunching challenge. And he goes for a free kick. What can happen here? Vega takes, you know, draws the foul with. We're over, over the time that is needed. Fernandez steps over. Rashford comes and joins him at the free kick. Fernandez. What a finish. Fernandez in the 93rd minute puts Man United 2 2 in this game. What a play. I mean, that does wrap it up, though, guys. We do draw 2-2 in that game. We've had a very good series. I hope you enjoy the series. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. It's much appreciated, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye!